By the end of last year, Perodua updated the most famous car in Malaysia, the Perodua MyV. With that, welcome back to Carsick.my for another review video. This time round, we'll be taking a look at the updated MyV that received some minor changes on the surface, but major upgrades under the skin to make the car safer and more efficient than before. Let's take a closer look. On the outside, the front bumper has been redesigned to look sportier than before and it now features vertical daytime running lights at the edge of the bumper. The rear bumpers have also been redesigned to blend in with the look of the front bumper. In order to further enhance the sportiness level of the MyV, the car now gets blacked out wing mirror covers, side skirt and lower portion of the front and rear bumpers. On top of that, the headlights have also been enhanced with the availability of automatic on-off function and adaptive high beam function as well. Perodua also did some slight redesigning to make the headlights blend into the front bumper. Overall, I do feel that the exterior changes are a welcome upgrade to make the MyV even more sportier looking. And as for the interior, you can see there's so many red color accent dotted around the car from the seats to the dash I quite like the red accents that replaces the chrome accents on the dashboard but I would prefer more subtle red color accent on the seats Speaking about the seats I find that the seats in the MyV are still too small for me I find that I'm sitting quite tall. This is my eye level. And with the sun riser down, yep, I can't see much out front. Okay, moving to the rear seat. Yep. There's nothing much at the back here. You will get the handbag hook. This uh, additional hook for left and right. Huh? Yeah. So in terms of leg room, yep, it's plenty. Even though space is abundant around the cabin, both front and rear seats don't really provide much support for taller and bigger sized people to feel comfortable. Much to my surprise, Perodua has improved the user experience of the head unit. Okay, as for the head unit, it is now newer. I feel that it's a lot smoother and faster than before. You can see, you go into settings and you see everything is a lot more instant, which is a good update. Perodua probably upgraded the hardware for the head unit. And I do think that it's about time for Perodua to include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay already. For the powertrain, the 1.5 liter engine has been retained, but it is now paired with the new dual continuously variable transmission, also known as DCVT, that comes from the Ativa. Here are the quick summary of the powertrain. When on the road, the engine has sufficient power to bring the car up to speed. Most of the engine torque is available in the mid-band of the rev range. With the new DCVT, Perodua not only manages to efficiently extract the performance of the engine, but also provide decent fuel economy as well. In order to achieve that, the DCVT is tuned to suit the 1.5 liter engine. For the first gear, the DCVT uses a regular gear to achieve better acceleration without the rubber band fuel. Second gear onwards, the CVT part of the transmission will keep the engine running in its peak power band to pull the MyV up to highway speed. Once at highway speed, the long final drive keeps the RPM low to achieve good fuel economy when cruising.
Regarding the ride and handling, no changes have been done to any of the suspension components. As the MyV was never intended to be a driver's car, I can feel that the ride of the car lacks sophistication. When going over bumpy and uneven roads, passengers in the car can feel the bumps and jolts of the road. As for the steering wheel, the wheel is on the heavier side to mimic steering feel. At least it's quite stable when going past our national speed limit. When slowing down the MyV, I would consider the braking performance sufficient for day-to-day -day use. MyV uses the usual brake disc up front and brake drums at the rear to slow the vehicle down. If the owner intends to do plenty of spirited driving with the MyV, brakes are one of the components that needs to be upgraded to handle the abuse. One last major upgrade for the MyV is in the safety department. For this, I would like to applaud Pearl Duer for doing a good job in upgrading the driver assistant feature for the MyV. At this price point, the system may not be as polished as some of the systems found on more expensive vehicles, but Pearl Duer managed to bring these systems to the masses. They deserve a pat on the back for it. I have listed down the safety and driver assistance system available on the MyV. Here are the systems. I may not be the biggest fan of the MyV, but I personally think that Pearl Duo has done a great job in making the MyV more relevant to modern day car buyers. Priced at 59,000 ringgit, the new MyV will definitely suit most car buyers who want a frugal, reliable, and practical car. With the added safety features, the new MyV comes with an extra layer of protection for the drivers. If you would like to check out more about the MyV, feel free to head on over to carsick.my for more information. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye.